Hey guys, in this video we're going to go over Facebook custom audiences and Facebook lookalike audiences. The other day I created a video on Facebook Pixels, how to install that step-by-step -step instructions. So if you haven't seen that, go back and watch that. I'll link that below. But in this video we're going to go over step-by-step -step instructions on how to create custom audiences, lookalike audiences for your business. So without further ado, we're going to get right into it. Alright guys, so we are in our business manager here. In order to find this, all you'll do is, uh, all you really need to do is just type in business.facebook.com and click enter. If you don't have a business manager, you might want to do facebook.com slash ads slash manager. And with that, you'll get to this part of your business manager. To be able to go find custom audiences and to create custom audiences, you'll go to this menu over here on the top left. Click on that, hover over tools, all tools here, and then under assets, you'll see audiences. Click on audiences. And once we do that, then we can go and create custom audiences, saved audiences, and things of that nature. And just really quickly, uh, the most important part about this is being able to reach an audience that is um, that's going to convert, right? So if you have a, a list of people who have bought something from you, if you have an email list, if you have a customer list, whatever that is, those are your best prospects, right? Um, and you want to find more people like them. So that's the idea of custom audiences and lookalike audiences. Um, once you get to this page, uh, you'll have three options. You can do a create a custom audience, you create a lookalike audience, or you can create a saved audience. All three have a lot of benefits for different reasons. The first one I'm going to cover is actually the saved audience. Um, and the reason to create a saved audience would be if you don't, if you're creating ads all the time, for us, we create ads for real estate agents, mortgage loan officers and we create a lot of the same audiences within our ad sets. So be, to be able to uh, bypass that, to not waste a lot of our time, and a lot of our employees' times, we want to create a saved audience so that we can just use that every single time. So that's the benefit of a saved audience. I'm gonna show you that really quickly. So I would just name them test, whatever. I would Usually the process that I go through to name something is the area that it's in the radius around the area, and then specifically interest targeting or exclusions. So, uh, or what it would be is the actual niche in which you're going into. So for us, we work with a lot of real estate uh, clients. So we do first time home buyers, right? So that's kind of the persona in which we would be targeting. So we would do Dallas, Dallas, can even spell it right, and then we do 25 mile radius, and then we would just go through that buyer persona of who is a first time home buyer. Uh, if our agent doesn't speak Spanish, we want to just keep it with English. What does that actually look like, right? So we can go through this and do targeting by income or uh, behavior targeting, whatever that is. For this, for this video, I'm just going to keep it super simple. Uh, but that's how we create our saved audiences. We can see here we've got about a list of 480 that is in our potential um, audience size. So we would just create that audience and we can see that populating here. Now what I want to go through is creating a custom audiences, custom audience based on the pixel that we installed in the previous video, right? So create, a, create an audience here, clicking this button. And then what we want to do is create a custom audience. From here, you have a couple different options, right? You've got engagement, so people who are engaging with your posts or your Facebook business page, or they are watching videos. Uh, so that is the engagement portion. Offline activity, if you've got uh, a local business, you can create offline activity. If you've got a mobile app, you can do that. Website traffic is using the pixel that we installed. And then customer file would be like an, uh, a CSV file or an Excel document which would have all of your current clients or customers or purchases on that file. So for this, we're going to choose website traffic. 
that is going to target any of our um, pixel traffic. So if you've got your pixel on your website or on landing pages, that's where the uh, audience is going to come from. So you want to choose all website visitors for this, right? And we're going to choose in the last 30 days. I would create two custom audiences for your pixel. One in the past 30 days and one in the past 90 days. Uh, the reason for that would be within 30 days, those people have just went to your website and you want specific ads for them. And then you want people who are you know 30 to 90 days out from your website to show hey, are you still interested kind of advertising, right? So I would just say uh, test website, so your website name, and then I would call it 30 days or 90 days. You can just simply change that by doing 90 and doing 90 and create that audience, right? So that is your Facebook pixel traffic. From here, if you want to create a lookalike audience based on people who are visiting your website, your landing pages, uh, you can choose find new people similar to your existing users and that would be a custom audience based off of your Facebook pixel traffic right um, the, the next thing we want to do is upload a list of your current clients or your email list so you'll click on create audience custom audience and then what you'll do is you'll click on customer file here then you, if you have MailChimp, you can upload that straight from MailChimp. Otherwise, just choose Add Customers from your own file. And then if you've got your file, you can upload that, or you can just do Copy and Paste, whichever is easiest. And then I would name this specific uh, to what your list is, right? So uh, Purchases Last 90 Days, or you can do um, Email List from X download whatever it was right you just want to make sure that you know where this list is coming from so you can make uh, look like audiences based off of this list uh, I don't have a, a list for you to upload but once you do that you'll just click create audience and then from there you would click create a lookalike audience and you would go and choose whatever that is right so you would use this pixel to create a lookalike audience from that, or um, whatever we just created will populate within here. You would click on that, and then you would want to choose United States, or if you want to, if you want to target uh, outside of that, United Kingdom, Australia, Canada. You can choose those. We're just going to choose United States here, and then what we want to do is create a one percent lookalike, which means they're ninety-nine percent like your audience. Um, and then we want to just create that audience here. So that's really as simple as that, guys. We created a saved audience. We created two custom audiences based on our pixel and our customer file. And we created a lookalike audience based off of both of those. If you guys have any questions, uh, throw them in the comments below. If you like this video, consider subscribing by click on the subscribe button below. Alrighty, guys. See you in the next video.